Beloved sibling, thank you for watching. Now, you know, I'm just getting started with this, so I'm just trying to begin to understand how the patterns will run and all that stuff. Today is Wednesday for the god Woden. Like the biblical Israelites, I believe in all the gods, old and new. There's a commandment, have no gods in my face, because the Israelites were always worshiping gods all over the joint. Were Einstein here and a fan of Game of Thrones, he might say, The gods are poetic metaphors for all the forces we do not understand. Then again, maybe he wouldn't. Have cable. But among my favorite gods these days is Sophia, the goddess of wisdom, the goddess of science. She who, when I tell the story, demands that the world be quantified. Gods and religions are, of course, ways of negotiating with the unknown. Uh, George Gerbner talked about the three kinds of stories, the first being stories about how things work. Worship of the goddess Sophia, as I understand her, requires that one believe in reason, that the best solutions to life's quandaries and challenges are to be found through the careful examination of phenomena and the rational analysis of the results. Who knows if that's right? Could be that Mendel Menachem Schneerson will reveal himself finally as the Messiah, and a giant eagle will come and swoop down and take all the Jews off to Jerusalem. Now, by the way, I'll, if that happens, I'm going to be by the lion's gate and I'll be wearing an African costume. So just in case the shit does come. Or it could be that Jesus will come back with a trump. And that could be really great for me because I have a lot of Christian friends in Lake Forest who've promised that when they are raptured away, I get to have their cars and houses. But for me, Sophia, reason and rationality are the most pleasant and comforting ways to deal with and negotiate with the unknown. As I go through this little exercise, and I appreciate again you're joining me for this little chunk of it, I'm really interested in what makes you optimistic. As I say, for me, it is my faith in the goddess Sophia, and in reason and logic and all that Spockian kind of stuff. But how about you? That's my big question. What is your source of optimism? Thank you immensely much for watching, beloved sibling. You made it all the way to the end. I post new sciencey optimistic videos every Monday through Friday. If you enjoyed this one, I hope you will like, subscribe to the channel, and share with someone you know who might themselves enjoy some sciencey optimism. I'm Aaron Freeman, the Excitable Ape, and until we meet again, I hope you have an incredibly great time as you science the day.